Well, that well, it's, that'd be interesting because I'd be like, right at that moment, now you, you're clear. Don't go do that. Don't go do crack, right? Don't go do that. Now you're clear. Don't do anything. Just think. Just think about where you're at right now. Because if you want to do this so bad, if you want to go out and if, it's, if you're willing to do this, think about everything that's going on right now. Is this, is this true? You know, um, if you're willing to give up what you think might be everlasting life for this, this fleeting moment, um, you think about why you have this desire. Do you really think that that's Satan? That the only thing is that Satan, or, or is your desire, do you, what do you know about your desire? Because at, at, that, at that point in time, for me, I was like, my desire is for good. I'm stuck in this place, you know? I would be married in a second. I can't get married, I don't have a job, you know? If I'd have really been able to, to think about that and think about, okay, this is why I'm in this situation, this is why I'm unhappy, um, you know, I, yeah, I mean, it's impossible to have that kind of clarity, but, you know, I just, I would tell somebody at that moment in time, before you jump, don't jump. Um, now, now is your moment to get some clarity and to really think about what you want to do. Because I knew other people that didn't have to go out uh, the way I did. Like I was saying, this is good for people to be, if I'd have saw this, seen this, yeah, I'd have been able to make a better decision, a smarter decision as to the fun I was going to have, you know. I was able to do that as I got older. I was able to go like, hmm, you know what, that heroin, that doesn't seem like a drug that I want to try. But I, I've tried that marijuana, that doesn't seem like that bad, that doesn't seem like that'll kill me the first time I try it, you know. So I can, you know, have more of an informed decision. Make your decisions informed. You know, so inform yourself. You got, you, if you have doubts about the organization, look it up, you know. If you have thoughts about, hey, I want to go have sex with somebody, think about why you want to do that and why you're not. What's, what puts you in that situation right now? Because what I did was like, oh, like, well, I can't do anything. I just, get, I, I just give up. I, give, I can't make this work. And I wasn't thinking of why is this not working? <laughs> you know, I, this, somebody else made some videos like that. And, um, you know, I used to, like you said, do you have guilt? I, I've walked around with a lot of guilt for a long time. Not necessarily Jehovah's Witness guilt, but just the way I was raised. I had guilt. What am I doing? Am I doing, is this right? Is this wrong? Um, the more I dealt with, figure out what that experience was for you. How did that affect you? How, what kind of trauma that caused in your life? How that trauma can still be affecting you now? How you still might be acting out now? Um, Boy, I avoid a lot of mistakes by doing that, you know. Um, there's so many, I've seen so many Jehovah's Witnesses who, like you said, you think the world is what you're told. And so you think that all that stuff is acceptable. When I first left Jehovah's Witnesses, I'd be out with friends. I'd be going like, okay, when's the orgy starting? And they're like, what? I'm like, that's what you do, right? You, you're worldly. Just, all you want to do is have sex. And I'm like, no. And then I realized, no, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to. I don't, I, I've never done crack before. I've never done crack again, ever. I have no desire. <laughs> I wouldn't be around those people. <laughs> but if I'd have just had the idea of like, well, that's what you're destined to do, because if you're not a Jehovah's Witness, that's what you're going to be. And there's so many other avenues in life. You know, I saw murder, suicide, um, you know, teen pregnancy, uh, uh, Molestation, all that stuff while I was a Jehovah's Witness. And I've never seen all of that, all of those things in one organization since then. And I've been in, involved in a lot of things. I'm an actor. I've seen people overdose and die and stuff. And I haven't seen the kind of things that I saw when I, in, in one congregation before I left. Um, and that was the other thing, too, that I realized. That there's no, this protection that I thought I was having. It was dangerous. I almost died, you know. There was a lot of danger there. I, I wasn't protected. It's better. <laughs> it's better. Uh, yeah. So I like to do a little thing always when I do these interviews, and I kind of ask our subjects to, because you know, you're, you're, you're out there now, you put videos, people watch your videos. Mm -hmm. Um, 
it's, it's unfortunate, but don't make your, I mean, it's unfortunate that you have to be an ex anything, but don't make your identity an ex Jehovah's Witnesses. I, oh, Jehovah's Witness. It wasn't my identity for a long time. It's become that only because I want to help other people. Other than that, just be a human being. The best way you can get back at those people is living your life and living a, a happy life, and that's what I feel like I'm doing now, you know, not to be burdened with, uh, with that. You know? So I look at the stuff when I want to. When I don't, I don't. Um, it doesn't upset me. Um, the only thing that upsets me is that people are still having to deal with this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, live your life. Have fun. You know? um, don't, well, uh, I mean, yeah, no, don't, no, yeah, you're right, yeah, don't do crack. <laughs> that much. Yeah, that much, right, yeah. I don't know if there's, a, like, that much you can do. I was going to say, like, in moderation, but, yeah, no, you probably can't. There's no moderation. I don't think there is moderation, no. It's pretty intense. <laughs>